Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. It's always our opinion, Brad, and our opinion is always right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just ask us. All right, today, Brad, we're gonna talk about can pain relief creams and ointments help your pain? You know, your neck, back, shoulder, hip, knee pain, does it help? And, sure. And we're trying to go to answer that question today, hopefully. And we've done this video in partnership today with iHerb.com. Um, again, we had the discussion last time, is it iHerb or is I Herb. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> because we always have stupid discussions like uh, this. Are, is it going to be on the. Yeah, we put it well, the link down below. I sure. mean, um, and, and there's a reason we like iHerb.com. Um, they, they fit with our perception and, and our, our approach to handling pain, don't they, Brad? Right. Try to do it conservatively in, in, right. in a manner that doesn't require opioids and that type of uh, right it doesn't really require any medications this is all over the counter stuff it's there's no downside to trying this stuff i mean it, it, it's it's you know it's not going to have any side effects on yeah, you, yeah, you, negative, know. you know it's not addictive there right it, it either is going to help you or not I, I guess with the exception of unless for some reason you might have a skin reaction a maybe. skin reaction that would be the sure. only downside and um mm -hmm. iherb is the largest online store for natural products mm -hmm. they have 1,200 brands, and they have over 35,000 products, and Brad and I are gonna go on there and count them tonight to make sure they have 35,000. <laughs> That's our old joke. Uh, the second thing we like is, uh, because we're all very conscientious of price, uh, their price is usually 30 to 40% less than you'd go to if you went to a pharmacy or a health food store. Right. So we're all trying to save a buck, and uh, if you lose the, use the links below to buy any of these products, you'll get uh, another 5% off, you know, we make sure. sure that, that you know, let's give everybody a bargain. So You bet. And the last thing I, I really like about them, Brad, is they kind of built this business with the idea they're going to have these perishable products. They built a warehouse that's climate controlled, very clean. They have a rapid turnover of products, so you don't have to worry about that, you know, these things have expired at all. And they got, course, So the shelf life, you don't have to worry about it being on the shelf for four years right. and they grab it up. And or that's sitting next to a can of motor oil, you know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's you know, they got it all figured out, you know, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, Brad and I did a video previously on pain patches, and we might allude to them to, again today, but these are some of the products that they have for pain patches. Sure. Why don't we just kind of put those off to the side yeah, right now, Brad? Bit. But we also have the ointments and the creams. And I had to look up what's the difference between an ointment and a cream. And apparently ointments have a little more oil in them. Okay. And it, it makes them a little more greasy. So. Greasy. That, that's, how they, that's how they describe it, okay. Brad. So Very good. We have three types here. Well, and Bob, before we go any further, I did notice there's a few people out oh, there. Oh, yeah. If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And also go over to Facebook and like us because Brad and I like to be liked. <laughs> there you go. All right. So we got three products. Yep. And you've tried all three, Brad? It's, yep, all three of them. All right. And I tried two of them because you had the Tiger Balm, so I couldn't try that. <laughs> but uh, My wife tried it too, though. She did. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's kind of give our opinion on these. These two, um, so this is the Tea Relief mm -hmm. and the uh, Toprosin yep. Pain Relief Cream. They have really no smell to them. Right. Yeah. That that's what I liked about it. Yeah. Uh, um, so there there wasn't any of that. And sometimes people want the smell. Right. I mean, they, they want the fragrance right. or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this case, especially like if I'm at work or something like that and working with patients closely, uh, um, so I put them on my knees um, just to, to see, and I yep. worked out with them, and that was fine too. It didn't really leave a stain on my clothing or anything sure. either. So, so yep, it was all. User friendly. Mm -hmm. What? Where, where did you try these? On my back, my, my low back, and I, I like this one right here. The tea relief. Yep, the tea relief. I had uh, good success with, and I keep it in my bedroom so that uh, if I got some back pain, I use it. Like, and it's nice because before work, I can go to work with it, and I don't have to work with patients. There's, you know, there's sure. no. I wouldn't say it's an odor, but some of these you got that uh, menthol. So, so, uh, yeah, I, again, I like that. I yeah. mean, but but again, I I, I don't want to work with somebody that might right. be a little bit sensitive to it. When you're in the medical field, you don't yeah. even put cologne on because yeah, some people are or allergic to it or yeah. they don't respond well. So you want to be very neutral. Yeah. So that's that's why these work yeah. great. For, exactly. For me. Um, this, by the way, just to give you some price comparisons, this is like twelve seventy one uh, from what I saw on their site. This was nine ninety nine. This bigger one here, and the Tiger Balm 
was six eighty. I think that was this one. Six dollars. A little bit more concentrated. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So all of them, you know, they're they're fairly uh, inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, now your wife tried this one. Right. Yep. I, I used the one on my back. I had better luck with that. But it, no, this actually you get that menthol cool sure. feeling, which helped. Um, but again, for the reasons I just start, discussed, the this has that menthol fragrance. Uh, my wife used it. She had a bad cold, so she put it on her throat. She had a sore throat and whatnot, and you know, slept with it overnight and whatnot. Um, and that always feels really good when you right, do that. Right. Yeah. So. It gives you that. So I think it's just like it's just like with the pain patches, the pain relief patches, Brad. It's it's a really personal thing. You're mm -hmm. gonna find one that works for you. Right. Now I looked at the reviews on these, and they all had pretty good reviews. I mean, sure. you know, there's a lot of people that do like them. To, and we look at these as tools. They are not gonna take away your pain. They're, you know, they're I mean, not they're not gonna, gonna cure it. Cure it is what right. I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. But we we kind of have a formula here. You know, what we say is you have temporary relief plus movement. So if you can figure out some movements to do, because usually a lot of times movements will sometimes heal your pain. Right. you got to get the circulation so te going. Temporary movements. relief plus movement can equal permanent right. relief. So, so like, let's say, take the neck. Let's say you're going to take some of this cream, you're going to rub it all over, over your neck, and now the pain has de diminished enough that you can try some movement with the neck, right. some ro rotations. Generally, like with necks, we often start off with, you're going to do chin tucks. Um, so you're going to put the cream on. And then you're going to do some chin tucks yeah. like this. And then eventually we want you to work on doing some extension like sure. this. And this is very actually relevant to me today, Brad, because I was getting sore right Ooh. in here, and I was doing these this morning. Okay. <laughs> uh, I should have put some cream on, but yeah. um, I actually, and it's actually just has loosened up now. Okay. Because I was doing a lot of these. Yep. So it worked out really good. For some people... Um, that motion doesn't work very good. So for some people, you do the chin tuck and yeah. side bend to the, the side of the pain. So mm -hmm. the pain's over here, chin tuck, Ooh. bend to the side. Oh, my neck just cracked, Bob. Chin tuck. And, and this is, yeah, this is the direction I tend to go because I get pain on this side mm -hmm. because I tend to lean like this all day. So you, you want to stretch it, it out. Yeah, you want to balance it mm -hmm. out. So yep. um, for some people, it's rotations, Brad. Right. And, 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 and even um, if it hurts one direction, just go in the other direction right now. And you can even take a little, and give yourself a little stretch. Yeah. Grabbing the back of the head and always in really good posture. Gentle while you're stretch. Doing it. So if you're one yeah. of those men, he men, oh, a little stretch is good. I might as well crank a little harder. Yeah. That's not the idea. It's, you get fingertips only and stretch. You should just feel stretch pain, any sharp pain with any of these. You're, you're going, you're not, you don't want to do that. So again, hopefully this is going to allow you to do this comfortably. Again, it's one of the tools you're going to have to cope with the pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, Again, if you can get away from using medications and you can just use these, this is, a, a, to me, a, a big, a big uh, in the plus column. Right, right. exactly. So an, another one, Brad, would be the shoulder. Sure. A lot of people have shoulder problems. You could rub the, the creams on there, and then we're going to want you to try some mo movements with the shoulder. Right. One of the ones that we often start off with is extension. Sure. Um, so you actually, it really helps. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Here, let's get this out of the way. It really helps to take like a broomstick or this is a PVC pipe or yep. a cane. And my thumb is down here, and I'm going to start working back like this. And again, you know, the cream or the ointment hopefully, you know, takes away some of the pain. And See? this should be a painless thing, too. I right. mean, you can go up to the pain, right. but, but no further. Yeah, you know, a little stretch kind of a pain is fine but if it gets that sharp pain then you're going too far you need to back off a little bit um you know and it might be a, a flow a forward flexion thing yep you can work on forward flexion too so um uh, let me go this way so i'm going to go ahead and <laughs> i'm grabbing below here and i'm going to start working on flexion here yep working into that direction you so know, and if you let's say this was my my arm that had the arthritis perhaps you might you can just grab your hands together and let oh, the, sure. the strong arm or the good hand help the weak one, and we just go up like that until you can go. Out. And you're going to do 10 to 15 repetitions, and then leave it rest and come back an hour or two later and work it again. And then one eventually you'd like to work on, and uh, is you can take a strap or a belt works sure. out good yep. too. Um, you put the and you can hook your hand in here and take it around like this. And I'm going to go ahead. And Maybe I shouldn't stand up, huh? Can I stand up, Lon? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, we don't care about your head and face anyway. So get that straightened out for yep, me, Brad. There, there we go. go. Okay. 
So now I'm going to work on pulling it up like this. And this seems like a strange one to be doing, but it really actually is one of the ones that, you know, you want to use towards the end where the, the shoulder is getting better right. to really complete things and make things. Uh, right. You can see if you're having problems, the reaching back. Yeah, you, you can compare. Shirt. Yeah, if you can compare, like if this one's way up here and this one's right here, you know you got to get that one up there too eventually. Right. Yeah. So, again, uh, just uh, consider it. It's, it's, th these are tools. They're inexpensive, and they help you get through the day. And that's all really sometimes we need to do is manage the pain enough to get through. Right. So. And then eventually improve. And, you know, the body wants to heal itself when we just need to give it time and work with these to get to give that Give it a little goal. assistance. Exactly. So. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching.